Oh! Then there you go. Four saves in this. Well, I should probably just. I should have probably just made him in this thing. Unlimited frostbite arrows. Or frostbone arrows. Cool, so that's already 10 damage instead of 5. Pretty fucking good. I should go and get myself a chest. There you go. Get myself a platform. Um, yeah, sure. Where am I gonna put this? Put! Put, put! Let me go and put you over here. And I shall be making this my ammo chest. There you go. Right. Okay. A three, a two, a one. Well, actually, why now am I even counting down? Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Just Threat, where I am playing... Uh, Terraria Modded Ranger. Not Final Fantasy or not Fire Emblem, it's Terraria. I'm playing a lot more Terraria than than those other games I'm still supposed to play because of a couple of stress-inducing reasons. I made, uh, as you probably saw, I made myself some Frostburn arrows. I also made myself a chest for ammo. So yeah, I made an, uh, an unlimited Frostbite arrow. It's gonna be quite, well, I, I am probably gonna have to make it later on, like I'm gonna have to make a quiver, but these things are pretty easy to make, so meh. I don't really care too much about it. I just needed some amount of damage improvement when it comes to my ammo. Um, now, there's a corpse boom. Randomly appears in the post-skeleton underground jungle. Maybe I should go over there and see about using my spawn increasing thingamabob. And then... Yeah, sure. Hello. Potion seller. Uh, you. Yeah. I have enough money for now. I wanted to take a Gandor at the amount of mummies I have. I could also go down somewhere else if I wanted to. Where's this gonna lead me to? This will lead me into a totally different cave. If you're wondering, this episode's probably gonna be a lot of weapon making, unless if I like, if I get stuck, but I don't really think that I will. Yeah, I also, of course, I made all the preparations to uh, to fight what's his face if I wanted to. Uh, what's his name again? Infernus? Yeah, Infernus. So I can also do that if I want to. But we'll first see about doing this and we'll see like how this evolves. Hmm. There's a chest to my right, but you know, fuck it. I'm only here for the course bloom. That's it. Actually, what the hell? There's, that is the only reason that I'm here. I don't need anything else in the jungle, so. I do think I'm gonna go and increase my spawn rates, though. Um, that's the unlimited, uh, like the unlimited battler potion. Where's my other one? I think it's in my system, right? All right, time to find the corpse boom. I'll meet you guys when I find them, because I have a tiny feeling that it's not going to be that easy. Well, it's either that or I die to a million enemies, since that's also something that I'm kind of expecting that would happen. Oh yeah, right, I was probably going to fight the uh, Infernus pretty fast because of the fact that um, I'm dealing with those buffs until I'm done with them. Or debuffs. These aren't particularly buffs. Um, I just saw something on my map. Yep, there it is. Okay. Uh, let me go and do this. And then put you in there. Okay. Let's go and fuck this guy up. I'll try to in any case. Okay, I cannot destroy those things. I'm getting slowed down by them by quite a lot. 
Um, hmm. Okay. Right, we now have a hole. People, we have a hole. Right, of course, bastards. Come on. There we go. This works for me. Okay, hi, Mark. It's shooting me, but I don't care. Because I'm shooting it, and it dies a lot faster than me. The elusive corpse bloomer has wi withers away. Right, I need to go and get you out of the way, because uh, it's annoying my... It's annoying myself. Wow. Right, we get the bloom guard, which is a healer weapon, and the intense weed eater. Or just a weed eater, which is a stone weapon. But I don't care about any of those, so sayonara. Sayonara. Also a pedal, but this is from Elements of Organo, this is different. Thang. Okay. Yep. Everything can go back into the lovely system. Get my lottery tickets going, because I still need a buttload of money. Oh yeah, in furnace, where are you? Where is it? Uh, did I already fight? Yeah, I, I fought the bird champion, but I did not win. I died to it. Oh, let's see, you as a deep underground, we're doing a grand method or find and defeat the unstable energy anomaly. Let's take a look though, because one thing that I'm gonna need is buffs. I'm gonna need, I'm gonna start needing buff potions. Um, let me take a look though, because I can combine a couple of these, right? This is the gathering buff. Uh, city and mining shine, alright. Yeah, that's the mining potion, of course. The gills is aquatic buffs. Okay, I see. Now if I press this button, what will I find? So I can enable some different things. Ultimate Peaceful seems like a really good thing. Let me... Uh, hmm, that's hard mode. Okay. I'll just have to wait for it then. <laughs> the ultimate spell. Oh my god. Okay, so what was I looking at again? Okay, uh, this. So it's... Yeah, it's all these things. Okay. Right. Let me go and look for a second there. Because if I can make this thing, you have the unlimited basic buffs. Okay. This is actually just what I need. It's just what I need. So I'm gonna see if, uh, if I can make this. Because, fuck it. <laughs> okay. Hello. Milady. Wait, I should probably take a look at how many of the other potions that I have. Potion seller. I love saying it. I'm sorry if it annoys some people because I'm constantly repeating myself, but I love saying it. <laughs> Which means that I won't stop, never stop, don't stop. Um, yeah, that's all I have. I have no iron skin and I have no... I could probably make them though. But actually, not, I actually didn't find a freaking alchemy station. Hmm. Um, let me go and take a look. Can I make iron skin? Patience? Uh, no, because I don't have any bottled water, but aside from that I actually have no day blooms either so eh. wait how much does it cost to buy day blooms seven silver jesus fucking christ i'll just buy him <laughs> okay so it's gonna be uh not 30 of these guys but almost 30 i'm gonna run out of gold by the way but the iron skin one is probably the most important one that i get right now come on damn it Ran out of money. Ran out of juice. Bugger off. Bugger off. Thank you for buggering off. That's a little bit of lag. Because how do I make regen potions again? Table room is also. Hmm. How much do I need? I still need nine of them. I'm gonna need to sell some stuff. That's one thing that I could definitely do because I should have a lot of. Well, hmm. I might have a couple of weapons that I can just sell. Weapons. Things like this ice band and all of the non ranged stuff, really. All the ranged stuff I'm gonna have to hold on to. The zombie armor I'm also gonna hold on to for one specific reason. That might be funny later on. I am still gonna hold on, even if they are doubles, I'm still gonna hold on to every single ranged weapon that I can. 
you never know when you need them. And when you need them, you don't have them, so... Yeah. Hello, good sir. Would you be so kind as to buy all of this stuff? Oh yes, two more gold. This is an investment, and I think... I, I personally think that it's a good investment. Uh, let's see. I do have a couple of accessories that I might want to get rid of. This is a from the healer class. I don't care too much about that. Transformation would be nice. I already have one of those. I also already have one of those, even though... Uh, well, I can buy them later on also, so... I don't really think I'm gonna need... I don't think I'm gonna need this many meat shields. Normally I sell a lot of stuff that I get. Like, if I play it very normally, I sell a lot of the stuff that I don't need. But since I'm not playing Terraria in a normal way right now, I'm hoarding like a freaking madman. There we go. Okay, and now for the well-fed buff. You need any buff food. A bowl of soup. Hmm. Any buff food. How many things are there in the game that require that? Uh, fish. Yeah, I cannot catch fish, by the way. This way. You have to actually catch them with a net. Well... <laughs> well... This might not be too difficult for me to do, actually. Let me go and get this thing going. The thing is, like, the combination of this and also... Uh, let me go and do this now. Ouch. Fuck off. The most annoying thing are gonna be, like... like my, uh, I'm sorry, the most annoying thing... We have to deal with are probably gonna be those buggers. The rain is stopping. Now let's go and see if we can let's see if we have enough stuff to make the stuff that I want. And I really really want I tell you what I want what I really really want. So tell me what you want what you really really want. So if I hold 30 of those in my inventory I just automatically get all get these buffs which is pretty crazy. You don't even have to you don't even have to craft them into this stuff. It's pretty nice, actually. Okay. Um, how do I make... Wait, isn't there also like pumpkin pie and all that jazz? Pumpkin pie. It. Oh my god. It just needs pumpkins! I did not need to farm this freaking fish. Oh well. Soup. A bowl of soup. I need myself a bowl. A bowl times 29. I'm sorry, 28. Right. Uh, also in the cooking pot. I need a bloody cooking pot. Can I not combine all these things into... Like the first upgrade? Yes, but I still need a lot more stuff, so no. Um... Let me go and put this cooking pot somewhere else. Also, let's get rid of the uh, this thing. Because <laughs> as you can see, I'm now overrun with mobs. Lots and lots of mobs. Okay, I'm gonna go and eat myself some bowls. The... Um, uh, the fish. And then also some mushrooms. There we go. Mix the mix the gold, mix it all together. Why do I have so many issues speaking? I have no idea why. Am I having like? Is my brain? Is my brain just broken? <laughs> that could be the case. I would not be too surprised with the amount of brain power I've been using lately. All right, nine pumpkins, sixteen pumpkins, ten pumpkins. That should be good enough. Let's make myself no pumpkin pie. Let's have a bottle. Wait, what? Oh no, wait. Why do I make pumpkin pie? That's a furnace, yes. There you go. Pumpkin. Oh my god. Pumpkin. Oh my god. Pump king. Not pumpkin, pumpkin. There we go. 
Wow, that was difficult for me. What a fucking surprise. Unlimited well fed gets turned into the unlimited basic baths. Oh yeah. So now I have... Let me go and take a look. I get 10 defense. Oh, it's the food stuff that also gives me those things. Interesting. Interesting maneuver. Unlimited combat buffs. Unlimited damage melee. Raised buffs. What are these things? Ammo and archery. <laughs> I have found something again, people. I have found something and I am not 100% sure if it's a good thing that I found it. <laughs> well, I'm not complaining. It's more like you guys might be complaining about it. I don't know. It also depends on like if anybody actually watches this. I don't know. Nobody knows. I record everything in advance, so I sure as hell don't know. Okay. Let's go and get myself... Um... Let's see though, because... Did I upgrade my boots already? Yes, I did. Alright, fuck it. I think I'm gonna go and drop this Obsidian Insta Bridge in hell, and let's see what, he, what, he, what it's gonna create. Also, before we do that, I'm first gonna go and check out the new NPC that we got. The Druid. Hello. You sell different types of seeds. Fertilizer. Some kind of an armor piece. I'm sorry, vanity. Um, marshy astroturf. Can be placed. Can grow marshy weeds and yew trees. What? Interesting. Okay. So, let's go into hell. And let's go and see about throwing this thing down and hoping that it doesn't break my hell or game. I don't feel like doing in furnace first, or at least trying him in any case. I also have this granite biome that I can probably... I think I'm gonna get rid of all this stuff and then like make a... Make a big open area. Actually, let me go and take a gander though. Actually, I should probably do this later on. <laughs> I should not do this while I'm in hell. Okay, it's a miniature and I cannot hit it for jack shit. Alright, cool. Let's go and get out the bow, because that, that's more accurate. Thank you for the guide food at all. Okay. Um, oh yeah, it was for these things that I wanted to get rid of them. Of course, these things were freaking annoying. Die already. Okay. This seems like a correct height to do this on. I swear to god, fucking die, bastards. Okay. I don't know what's gonna happen, by the way. I have absolutely no idea what's gonna happen, so... Okay. That was kind of what I expected. But the game also said that it was gonna create this kind of a platform. God, can you fuck off? The game also said that it was gonna create a platform like this and remove blocks on... Uh, blocks? Blocks? <laughs> It's gonna remove blocks on top of it. I kind of expected to remove like the entirety of the. Actually, no, that would not make any sense. If that happened, then then the entirety of the world would be destroyed. Where are you? Because you're you're a voodoo dude. Please don't fall through the thing. Thank you. So now I do have this entire platform, though. That's pretty dang nice. Okay, let me go and. Is it marked still? It is still marked. Yep. This one isn't there. Fuck off! Wait, now I'm thinking about it, I only need like one big open area to be able to fight in furnace. I don't particularly need... Um, I don't need the, 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 the wall of flesh arena quite yet. You can't wait longer! This seems like a pretty good place though. I have more enough movement over here. I'm gonna get rid of this thing though. Fuck off! Fuck off! Would you please be so gonna do? Fuck off, fuck off. Don't resist. Another guide voodoo demon, holy crap. Another voodoo demon, sorry. A guide voodoo demon. <laughs> well, it makes some amount of sense. All right, let me go and put this thing over here, I guess. Screw the freaking fishing thing. And let's see what's gonna happen, people. Ouch. Are you kidding me? Don't shoot there. Alright, I need to see what the fuck this guy is. Frostbite, does it work? I don't know. Yikes! 
Okay, the guy's going up. Club going up on Tuesday. The rest of the text I still don't know. Okay, so this guy drops some kind of stuff when he when he flies upwards. Big waves. Big fire wave attack. Times a couple. Oh boy. Let me go and heal up. Do a preemptive heal. Oh yeah, now we also have uh, Fiorosa or whatever the hell is, her name is. Who's also shooting at me now. Fiorosa, yep. Or Fiorosia. Fiorosia, there you go. I go and shoot her. Shoot her! Is she gone? Did she die? No, not quite yet. There we go. Now she's dead. And now this guy's gonna be mad at me. I probably should have put on some uh, campfires. Okay, and now he's gonna... Spawn all the slimes and enemies just in general, okay. This is new. I don't remember this happening before. Okay, and now he's gonna go and shoot some more fire at me and fly. And the amount of freaking arrows. A truest shot was never loosed. Nice! That was cool. I did not expect to be able to beat him in the first try, by the way. This is a pretty nasty boss. Kidding me, immortal. I'm not gonna read this stuff every single time, by the way, in my like um, narrating voice. If you want to see my original quote unquote narrating stuff, uh, you should look at the Summoner Blade. You should just in general look at the Summoner Blade because all of these Dreyer pictures, for now in any case, are all linked together in a magical way with a little story that I thought of. It might not be that amazing. Actually, I would, I'm pretty positive that it's not that amazing, but you know what? I did put some work in it, so... Alright. Let me go and get my shotgun back. Alright, I, sh I did not want to throw those in there, but... It happened! Whoopsie. Alright, we have some fire resins, a obsidian doors, another hellbats. Banner. At least I don't have to deal with those freaking acolytes anymore. Right now, which is pretty freaking awesome. We're getting Furnace's Mask. Which I don't really care too much about since I like my character's vanity already. What the hell is this? Equipable. Gives a chance to get double loot from defeated mobs. Lowers defense slash the damage reduction by 2020. Lowers my defense and damage reduction. Wait. Okay, so it increases the uh, the loot chance. Okay, I see. All right, gives a chance to get double loot. It will also um, lower your defense and damage reduction by twenty percent. That's a pretty cool item, actually. Usually, alchemist NPC is pretty dang overpowered, also, but this one is pretty dang nice. I'm also gonna have to fight Infernus a lot of times to get a weapon of his. I'm pretty dang sure. Infernal heart knights nearby enemies blows up uh, nearby lesser enemies that are on low health. Fights with the area. And we also have the Fire Harpy Staff, which uh, <laughs> I don't need in this playthrough. <laughs> you know what, at least, I can get, at least I can get some gold for it, so there you go. Now, I want to see what I can do with the Shield of Cthulhu. The incandescent spark, of course. Fire benefits thee, of course. The thing is, I really like the dash right now. Actually, do I? Do I really need the dash? Did I use the dash in that battle? I don't remember. I could make like the incandescent spark, but for that I'm gonna need the ogre sandals, which I'm not gonna be able to get, and also this stuff. It, it's all stuff that I cannot get. I could get this thing, but no, <laughs> because I already made it, and I don't want to make a. Uh... You know, what? I think I'm gonna be fine though with like just normal movement for now. If I need the shield of Cthulhu, I'll hold on to it. I'll just like throw it in my little piggy bank over here. If I need it, I'm gonna use it. But if I don't, I'm gonna. Just go and equip something else. 
Now, um, that's a minion armor set. This is melee. Yep, just melee. <laughs> just melee things. There's also, of course, a couple more weapons that I can make. But I was thinking about making the Inferno Bulwark. I have just enough of the, of the stuff I need, so... Screw it. Alright, let me go and throw you in there. Do you have enough health, though? No. Well, I didn't have enough mate, in any case. Oh, I hate these enemies so much. They suck. They really suck. I love Sacred Tools. Or, what's it called then? Uh, Shadows of Abaddon. There you go, that's a new name. I keep on wanting to call it Sacred Tools because that's the way that I remember it. It's a really awesome mod that also adds a buttload of annoying enemies to deal with. So I was making... Um... Let me just go and write down shield. There you go. No, that's the shield of desert. Weird. I'm sorry, it's a bulwark. Because of course, that's normal English. There you go. The Inferno Bulwark. What the hell is this? Boomerang bullet. There's a 10% chance of returning to you. Huh. Alright, so the engrossing. Plus 2 second empowerment duration. I don't know what empowerment means. <laughs> Let me go and reforge this thing. I'm gonna be using this thing for a long time, so might as well. I don't usually reforge stuff. It's not a lot of times. Ooh. Ooh. Yes, please. Alright, so grant immunity to knock back fire blocks and on fire. So now I cannot be put on fire anymore. Which can be quite handy. Okay. There you go. Alright. Um, I'm gonna need a lot more weapons from these guys. What, what was next on the list? It was the Granite Energy Stone, right. So I do think... Think... Wow. I do think I'm gonna blow... I'm gonna use the Doom Cannon. I'm gonna show you how this thing works because it's fucking awesome. I'm gonna blow a really... I'm just gonna make a really big arena over here. I'm also gonna go and get myself some platforms. Or some wood. <laughs> there you go. Ah, yes. That's, no, not that's not. Uh, wait, where's some. Do I have no normal wood? I don't. I have a bottle of wood walls, which I can turn into wood. Um, Which I can turn into wood. In my system only, probably. After all. Yeah. Um, now I definitely know what the hell I'm gonna. Where is it? Number what? Uh, also all these fences, sure. There we go. And now also this. Just turn it all around, it doesn't matter much. Okay, thank you for the wood. And now, uh, well, I'm not gonna make some quite yet, but I'll, I will eventually. Also, I'm gonna go and get myself some more torches. Or some of my torches. Torch. Just so I can make... Uh, Thing up pops again. Just so I can make uh, <laughs> make campfires again. There you go. Alright, so I went the wrong way, but I will meet you guys when I am done with. Okay, I automatically want to try and dash. I'll meet you guys when I'm done with making this new arena so we can fight ourselves a new boss. And if I'm lucky, I might be able to get like the boss spawning thing to appear. I'm also thinking about eventually buying the super anvil and seeing how fast I drop the super anvil compared to the. Uh, Compared to the slime. Okay, now I'm gonna see if I can try to... Or maybe I should do that when I'm getting ready to fight the boss. Because I'm first gonna go and grab the stuff that's in this chest, which is just a flare gun. Well, I think I'm gonna need... Like, did I get a flare gun already? I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Whoopsie. Now, this is gonna be an issue over here. I kind of want to leave this thing open, just so I can jump down, but I also want to not do that, because otherwise I'm going to fall down. Oh well. I'll just leave it open for now, and we'll see how this is going to go. Alright, let's go and see if we can... get. Yeah, I'm already buffed, so... Really, I, I automatically have the buffs, so... I don't need to worry about that. Well, yeah, I can take a couple of hits, so... Okay. There you go. Alright. Time to fight! Granite energy douchebag. It's a vengeful boy, though. Okay, I'm noticing, like, not having the uh, the Shield of Cthulhu right now. Hello. 
So if I can get it. Oh, well, I'm, I'm, I'm still debating whether or not, like, if I if I die to the boss, because of the fact that I, like, if I die to any boss, because of the fact that I don't have to shoot to the, I'm probably just gonna go anywhere. I should have to shoot it again. This is a free world, so I can do whatever the fuck I want. This seems to be going decent for the moment, though. Ouch. If I had some piercing weaponry, that would be nice. Well, I do have the penetrator, but the penetrator is like a sniper. It's like a one-shot thing, usually. It's really good for dealing with things like the old ones, army or government invasion or whatever, but that's it. It's ridiculously slow otherwise. Later on, it's probably going to get ridiculously powerful because of the fact that we have a lot of... Um, since... Uh, because of the fact that at that point we have beaten a lot of bosses and this thing scales with boss kills so yeah. Nice! <laughs> that's it. That was also pretty cool that I managed to do anyone try. Gave myself a lot more of those things. Let's see, so... There's a granite armor that I don't care about too much. There's a granite crossbow though. Anything else? Reflector? Melee stuff? No, it's just that. Okay, so it's just this crossbow thing. But I do still have my... Um... Maybe I should... Well, maybe I should buy another safe. Just to be safe. Haha. <laughs> Funny jokes and all that shit. Let me go and do this with you, because... You are still a part of my basic... Um... Armory. For my basic arsenal. Alright, I can go in there. Uh, you can go in there. The flare gun is not supposed to go in there. I actually did not even notice there was a freaking party over here. Over here. Okay, we also have the knife is in our helmet, which could be useful. I might need it for something later on, I don't know. We also have the assassin knife, which I do not care a single crap about, so. Shack off. Let's see what we get from George back. We get ourselves the summon weapon. <sighs> that is insane. Do I need you for something? There's a granite enchantment, but I've already made it in the summoner playthrough. Uh, the Eye of the Storm, which is also used in the granite enchantment. Yep, what does this do again? While in combat, while in combat the granite energy will slowly seep out and damage nearby enemies. Interesting. This could actually be... Pretty dang interesting. Let me go and do this. There you go. Like, can I see something when I have this thing? Oh, it's like an orb that flies around. That's cool. I wonder though, does like the heart also have a... I don't think so. I usually keep a lot of this stuff hidden, but... Maybe I shouldn't though. Well, the shield I'm gonna keep in there. Boots. Are invisible. But you actually can't see them. <laughs> oh well. The wings are, yeah. That way it would, like if I did that, my cape would be used. I do like the idea of like having these wings underneath the cape. And then being like, I'm gonna soar to the skies! And then the wing. And then the cape. Well, it doesn't really disappear, but it does go away. Or it goes out of the way. There we go. That was pretty dang nice. Okay, that's gonna be it, I think. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Just said, oh, I was playing uh, Terraria modded Ranger, and next episode we're gonna see about fighting Jensen, I think. So, yeah, goodbye.